In our health cast today, the recent medical issue facing pop star Justin Bieber is shining a spotlight on facial paralysis. While Bieber's case was triggered by a virus, the same one that causes chicken pox and shingles, Dr. Liliana Ein says there are multiple reasons why someone might have a facial paralysis. Things like trauma, tumors, congenital factors, Lyme disease, even medical procedures. But sometimes the cause just never is known. The nerve that moves the facial muscles or the muscles of facial expression is the uh, facial nerve or cranial nerve 7. This starts in our brain and then it jumps across this short gap and then enters the bone behind our ear. It then makes this long twisty turning course in the bone behind our ear and then comes out and it branches through our cheek and eventually makes it to our muscles of facial expression. And so anywhere along that pathway, if there's disruption of the nerve, we don't get any impulses to the face and essentially the electricity goes out and the muscles stop moving. So Dr. Ein says the onset of facial paralysis may be sudden or it can actually develop slowly over time. Helping patients recover involves physical therapy as well as sometimes surgery to bring new muscle and nerve response back into the face. And we do have some bad news. If you're a baby boomer, yep, a study out of Penn State found this age group is more likely to live with chronic health issues, even more so than older generations. Researchers say that most common things that are impacting boomers are arthritis and hypertension, which they believe are linked to greater exposure to risk factors like an increase in obesity in this particular in population. Improvements in technology may also be leading to improved diagnosis of problems in older adults. The boomer generation was born between 1946 and 1964.